Hey everybody, I'm Inkslaura123 and welcome to this What I'm Selling on eBay This Week video. So yeah, hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And uh, don't forget to smash the notification bell. Then you can see when I've uploaded new content. Also when I'm doing live shows. Okay, so basically what happens if you've never seen these types of videos before, I do them quite regularly. Um, basically, I am an eBay seller and in these videos you get to see what I'm selling each week. And it's a real kind of mixture of this and that, you know, literally I will sell anything and everything. <laughs> so if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, which I hope you do, by the way, happy bidding. Um, I'll put the link down below in the description box uh, to my eBay page. And uh, this is kind of like a sneaky peek. So if you want kind of more detailed information and photographs, then obviously go on each like listing. Um, and yeah, I do everything pretty much as bids. I mean, there might be the odd few things I do as buy it now, but most things I do are bids, uh, auctions. So yeah, happy bidding, let's get started. So, um, right, the first thing I'm selling this week is this lovely green and silver, very sparkly shirt. Um, not gonna lie, I did get this for myself, but it's too tight. <laughs> it's not a nice way of saying it. It's too tight for me. Uh, so yeah, this is originally from Sainsbury's uh, to their clothing range. And as you can see, it is really lovely and checked and green and sparkly and everything. So gutted. That it didn't fit but maybe it'll fit you if you like it okay also what i do on my ebay is uh, relist things so if they don't sell the first week or the second week or the third week i just kind of keep relisting until they do sell obviously i give it a certain amount of time then i'm just like look it's not going to sell but i like to give something you know a good a good chance you know at selling so some of these things that you see in this video today you might have seen in previous videos um because they just they're not sold and they're back again back again doing their thing um so yeah these things i'm going to show you now relisted stuff um i've got two clown masks as you can see creepy clowns it is of course halloween soon so you know these are brand new as you can see with the tags on um they're very creepy i'm, I'm quite scared of clowns <laughs> but yeah they're on there as a two okay i've also got carrying on with the theme of scary halloween masks these really scary bears they're actually called an evil furry mask <laughs> and they are literally evil looking and they are furry i think they're based on um what is it five nights at freddy game and them spooky bears are on the like screens and stuff i don't know i don't play it but i know what it is um but yeah so these two are on there as a two as well i've got this makeup bag here with two lovely llamas on they're called uh party llamas they're llamas and they like to party. Uh, we've got some little tassels as well on pom-poms. It is brand new, this makeup bag from Candy Pop with the tags. By the way, for anyone who's new here, I sell secondhand and I also sell new stuff as well that have still, you know, got the tags on and things. So, yeah, that is on there. This is also new with tags. It is a Thomas Calvi purse. Um, as you can see, it's purple. It's quite a big purse as well. Look, if I open it up, you can see uh, brand new, never been used. And there's a bit for your cards, your photographs and things like that, coins, notes, etc. The design of this, as you can see, is these lovely ladies with their shopping bags and uh, bottles of champagne and stuff looking very elegant and trendy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's on there. Okay, more Halloween stuff. This is a little horror makeup set. Got different uh, face paints and sponge and stuff like that if you want to look spooky for Halloween. Okay, if you want to be scared on Halloween, I am doing a little bundle here of three horror-themed DVDs. So we've got Hostel, and this is the Unseen edition. Uh, we've also got 13 Ghosts, which I've never seen. It looks terrifying. Um, <laughs> and 28 Days Later, which I saw years ago, but I can't remember much about it. Was it about zombies? I don't know. Um, but I know I've seen it. So, yeah, that's like a little bundle of uh, three horror DVDs. Okay, this book is on there as well. This is called Little Creeping Things, and uh, it's such a good book. I read it recently. Um, literally, I've kept it in good condition, obviously. That's what I do with a lot of my books. Um, I, I literally read them, keep them in good you know, condition, and then I sell them on, on eBay. Uh, so I really recommend this one if you like creepy, eerie thrillers. Very, very good book, this. And you've got a creepy doll on the cover as well. So, you know. <laughs> 
Got some vintage Forever Friends stuff here. Got this little Forever Friends hand painted uh, picture frame, like a little photo frame. I'm not going to get it out of the box, but it is in there. Look, it even says it hand painted photo frame. Um, and also, this other fr uh, Forever Friends item this is Wishing on a Star Beaker and Toothbrush set. See a little toothbrush in there. And a little Forever Friends bear standing on, on a book. So, uh, yeah, Forever Friends used to be well popular when I was young. I haven't seen them for years. All right, okay, next up in the bag, we have this book here. This is called Pine. It's a thriller, horror, creepy thing by Francine Toon. Uh, this is a paperback, as you can see. Read that recently. It was quite good, quite scary. I've got some clothes to show you now. Now, I've got a hanger somewhere here, so I'm going to try and hang things up a little bit so you can get a kind of oh, a better look at them. Right, so first of all, clothes wise, I've got this little t shirt here with a gruffalo on. My favourite food is gruffalo crumble. And it's one of these like soft, fluffy t shirts. You can actually, you can give the gruffalo a stroke. He likes it very much. Uh, so this is a kid's top. And age wise, it is two to three years. Right, next up, we've got this red jacket. This is a size 18 from uh, Bonita. It's from Bonita. Lovely red colour. I do love the colour red. Okay, this is a size 18 dress. Uh, it's from Linear. Linear? I don't know how to say that. Uh, kind of animal print, styly. Now, me and Nathan, my fiancé, for those that are new here, we're kind of disagreeing on this. Like, it's not a big, like, row or anything. <laughs> but it's a little bit of a disagreement on the colour. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think. You're going to side with Team Laura or Team Nathan. Um, so basically, I think, colouring-wise, this is gold. This is black and gold colouring, right? He thinks it's orange, orange and gold. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. It's, it's not really important, but it's just that I want to win. <laughs> no, but seriously, tell me what colour is this? Is it orange or is it gold? Let me know. This top here is kind of like hippie boho kind of style. How much do you see those words on eBay in the description? <laughs> hippie boho. Um, yeah, this is from George size 24 okay got a couple of books here this one is called fire and ice blood feud uh, by jackie andrews it kind of looks anime style so if anyone's into anime maybe you like this i don't know if it is anime but it's like the artwork's quite anime isn't it um and then we've got this one here which is uh, a horror spooky horror by james herbert called the ghosts of sleeth loving the cover of this it looks like an old-fashioned kind of you know scary looking book so yeah big hardback book that one Okay, now I'm really sad because none of these sold last week. It's so sad because they're really beautiful and they're really rare and collectible. So I don't get why like there was no interest in them. But um, basically they're all figures. I've got a whole like little collection here uh, from this company called Zingleberry. If that focus is there, there we go. Zingleberry. And there's all different designs as I'm going to show you quickly. There's this one here, uh, Coffee to the Rescue. <laughs> I mean, this one you can actually put a little picture in it as well. So um, you've got that one here. They're all wrapped in um, newspaper and bubble wrap to protect them and stuff. Uh, then we've got this one here, which says, everybody needs a friend. Get it? Everybody. Everybody. Because there's birds. Anyway, uh, so that's that one. <laughs> but yeah, these are like really beautiful. You know, if I had somewhere to put them, I would. I've got so much stuff everywhere, but they're beautiful. Um, and they're really old. They're like from like 1999, 1998, 2000, that kind of era. So, uh, you know, a while ago. And then we've got this one, Shopping Buddies. There's me and my mate. Just been shopping. <laughs> um, one's here. Do, 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 do. All right, okay. This one is my special sister. Oh, I never had a sister. Well, or a brother, actually, because I'm an only child, obviously, but... I don't know if I would have been a, a good sibling or a bad sibling. I'd have probably been jealous, you know, or wanted to play with their toys or whatever. So maybe it's best off that I am an only child. Uh, this one says, Grandma, you, sorry, Grandmas are great. Yeah, I love you, Grandma. Grandmas are great. And you can see um, Grandma there, a oh, little grandchild on her knee. And she's got a little um, knitting and her books and stuff. This actually makes me really sad because it makes me think of my grandma. Um... Because my grandma used to love knitting, and I would literally sit on a nap, uh, on a nap, <laughs> not on a nap, on her lap, um, while she would do knitting and stuff. Um, anyway, that's enough of the sad stories right now. Um, this one says shop 
till you drop. So and she's got sparkly earrings as well. Look, earrings are sparkling. Uh, they're lovely. See what I mean? So you can either buy, if you're interested, like one on their own or, or just buy a couple or buy the set. Keep them all together. Uh, thinking of you, this one. Um, so, yeah, that is all the... Make sure there's no more in the bags. No, that's all the figurines uh, from the uh, Zingleberry collection. Okay, so this really upsets me. I don't want to sell this book, but I need the money. Um, and that's, as I said, what I do. I, I buy the books, I read them, keep them in good condition, sell on, etc. However, this one does kind of break my heart a little bit. I don't want to get rid of it, but I need to. Um, but this is the brand new book by the amazing V. Schwab, and it's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Now, I literally finished reading this a few days ago, and like it is amazing um blue sprayed edges here it's a special um collector's edition on the uh, front of it, it's hardback by the way front of it you've got uh, one of the main characters in front of the tree gold tree it's just honestly it's so good i won't go on about it now because this is an ebay video not a book theme video look at that in there the artwork um but it's just so good like i can't even say how amazing it was um but yeah, so this is on for sale. It is a special uh, limited edition. I think it's first edition as well. Um, I've already got quite an interest on this book already. So if you want it, get in there quick. But it's really w well worth the read. That's what I'll say because it's amazing. Okay, this top is polka dot. I do like a bit of polka dot. Um, I think it's a size 18. Hold on, where's the label thing? I can never find anything, can I? Hold on, is it up here? Well, it's from George. But I need to find the label. Hold on. I actually can't find the label. <laughs> Sorry. But it's on my eBay. So go in my listings if you like. Look up Polka Dot and you'll see it. But I, it's either like a 16 or an 18, something like that. I just can't find the label of it. Okay, next up, this is a size 16 dress. And it's beautiful. And it's pink. And it's got sequins. And it's brand new with the tags from Tetro, is it? Tetro, is that how you say it? Tetro. Um, but yeah, brand new tag, size 16. Very kind of, you know, floaty and flouncy. Kind of fairy-ish. You know, like a bit of a... I'm picking up that kind of fairy magical vibe from it. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really sad this bag is not sold. It's been on there for weeks and it's just not selling. So it's actually by a company called Dickens and Jones. Um, and when I was doing a little bit of research for my eBay stuff, because uh, I like to look up, you know, things that I'm selling, like, you know, people are selling similar, etc. See what kind of prices they're going for and information. Um, there were loads of these bags and they were selling like quite well. But for some reason, my one is not selling and I don't get why. Uh, it's a big size bag, as you can see next to my hand, and it is a, a decent make. Um, so, yeah, buy it. It's lovely, like mint colour, a floral print. <laughs> Okay, this is a top from Sainsbury's. It's a size 16. Really retro. I used to wear tops like this all the time. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. Um, Colouring wise, obviously, you've got the dark blue, the light blue, the red, kind of mustard with a floral print. By the way, if you think, why is she saying floral print like that? If you're a regular view, you'll know. Uh, if you're not, basically, I end up selling quite a lot of floral print design stuff on my eBay. I don't know how why it just happens like that and every time I describe things I'm like oh it's a floral print so I have this thing right <laughs> I have this thing that I think is quite fun I don't know if you do that as a viewer right if you're watching this video every time I say the words floral print have a little drink it can be any drink you know it could be a you know coca-cola could be a cup of coffee cup of tea whatever maybe something a little stronger um have a little drink every time I say uh floral print <laughs> it's like a little, little game there for you to maybe play along with I don't know you might not want to play I think it's quite a funny little game there that we can play anyway what's next do you know anyone who's going to be 21 do you want to get them a gift if the answer is yes then give them this that's good wasn't it uh, this is a little me to you bear um, part of the me to you collection this is a on your 21st birthday you've got the little champagne bottle there and the 21 with a little bear looking over the side brand new as you can see sealed and in the box tigger 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 who likes bouncing <laughs> so i've been told um yeah this didn't sell last week i thought people would be like loving this if you love tigger and you want to give him a home buy him um, so this is a lovely heart-shaped cushion like a nice like blue teal kind of coloring and of course tigger is on the on the front of it doing his little cheeky expression 
Okay, so it's Halloween soon. How much have I said that? It's going to be Halloween soon. Someone's a little bit excited for Halloween. Um, This is a really cute outfit for your little baby. If you want to dress them up as a pumpkin, you know, why not? It's Halloween. Pumpkins are, you know, uh, 12 to 24 months. This is for age-wise. As you can see, it's brand new, still all attached with the tags and stuff. So, um, got a little hat. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute. Uh, so yeah, this is on there, and I've got another kids' fancy dress here. This is six to nine months, like a little kind of skeleton suit. I don't know how else to uh, describe it. It looks like a suit, and it's a skeleton. You've also got other little monsters as well there. Um, oh, and this one's furry. Look, little furry one, and there's a little hat as well, with, like a skull hat. Um, so yeah, this is brand new, never been used. If you like your arts and crafts, maybe you would like some weekday crafting pegs. I don't know, you might want them for some craft arts thing. <laughs> They're on there, brand new. Okay, this is a really nice top, it's like a, well, blouse, shirt, whatever you want to call it. Size 16 from George, like a kind of grey, bluey, peachy, sheer kind of thing. It's Scary Edwin Page. Good little book, that. For Sal. If your children like creepy stories, but not too creepy, but a little bit creepy, this could be for you. Or them. Okay, we've got Murder Most Unlikely. Uh, sorry, actually, no. Murder Most Unladylike. I don't know why I said unlikely. <sighs> sorry, I need my coffee. Uh, Robin Stevens. This book is brilliant. It's the first in a series, if you like mysteries, crimes. Really cute, really cool, and... Uh, I loved it. So kept in good condition. Selling it. If you want to read it. Murder most unlikely. Have I said it again? I've said it wrong again. A murder. Let me say this. Right. Because it's going to bug me. Murder most unladylike. There we go. Maybe there's another book called Murder Most Unlikely. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. Murder most unladylike. Robin Stevens. Oh, man. You know, you get them days and you think... I'm not with it. That's pretty much me every day. Right, next up, Halloween for potion bottle labels. You can see all the different labels there. You can uh, put on your bottles of drink to make them look a bit more spooky and stuff. Just kind of stick them on to the bottle. Brand new, sealed. Um, and also, Halloween, we've got a witch's nose with a wart on it. Look. <laughs> that was really difficult taking a picture for the eBay. Let's just, I'm not going to go into it, but let's just say it looks a bit dodgy. I was like, oh, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> for a picture but it is a witch's nose that you just attach with a string around your face <laughs> uh, maybe i've just got a dirty mind i don't know right next up this dress is a uh, size 18 from primark let me hang it up for you right get those drinks ready if you're playing the game if you're not then don't worry about it but if you are it's a floral print <laughs> it's really nice actually um as you can see it's like black and gray coloring um yeah from primark Okay, next up is this gold and black top from Dorothy Perkins. Quite sparkly. Size 20. This blouse is from Blue Chameleon, size 1820, with a floral print. Okay, next up, we have this cute, cute, cute hat. This is Disneyland Paris. It's uh, a sorcerer's hat. And um, there we go. Look, Disneyland Paris, very sparkly. As you can see, the sparkles got ears on it. It's uh, officially, I think, called a Minnie Mouse a sorcerer's hat with ears. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it anyway. You've got the big moon and stars on it as well. Um, got the vowel kind of thing at the back. So that's on there, kid's hat. All right, we've got these jeans here. Now, these are brand spanking new from Hell Bunny. And uh, by doing a bit of research, I have discovered that Hell Bunny are a very expensive label. So they do um, like lots of rockabilly clothing and stuff like that, kind of retro looking stuff. Um, as you can kind of see from the packaging, it looks quite rock uh, rockabilly, doesn't it? So these are a size 22 and they're um, like dark denim, I don't know, like dark denim blue, I think. Yeah, like dark denim. Uh, brand new with tag size 22. Go grab yourself a bargain. Okay, um, been selling some men's trousers recently. They've been selling quite well. Um, well, some of them, not all of them. So these are a waist 42, leg 32. And they're from Sainsbury's 2, 2 Man. Um, and they're straight fit, like a tanny colour. I've also got these men's trousers here, which are called, I 
love cords so much. I used to live in my corduroy trousers when I was at college. I loved them. Uh, now, these are quite posh because they're from M&S, Marks & Spencer's, uh, the Luxury Collection. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> tailored Fit Luxury Collection, M&S. And these are waist... Uh, 44 inches and the inside leg is 33 so uh, yeah nice black smart cool joy trousers and also got some Levi jeans yeah you know I've never had I've never owned a pair of Levi jeans I had this mate years ago right and she would only ever wear Levi's like she literally would not wear any other brand I'd go shopping with her in Primark and get jeans and she'd be like no no, no, no. I only wear Levi's. I only wear Levi's. <laughs> True story. I don't know if she does now, because I don't talk to her anymore, but she probably does. Um, but yeah, these are men's jeans, size, uh, well, waist 38, leg 30. And uh, they are literally, look, Levi 501s. How expensive. If you want these, go get yourself a bargain, because they're Levi's. And they're expensive. Right, what else have we got here? By the way, I hope you are all enjoying this video. Um, if you are, don't forget, please give a big old thumbs up. It really does help uh, the channel when people leave thumbs up. And please subscribe and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, when you're doing the notification thing, which I know you're going to smash that bell, uh, please, please, please press uh, to all notifications. Then you get to see what I'm doing, as I say, live streams and upload new videos. It's really important. Some people, they click notifications, but they don't sit to all. So I get messages afterwards and comments saying, oh, I didn't know you were live. Or, oh, I didn't know there was a new video from you. So it's really important if you do want notifications, which I hope you do, set to, um, to all notifications. All right, next up is this uh, size 18 top from Lipsy, Lipsy London. Loving this uh, neckline really like this it's kind of those you know that go across the shoulder oh <laughs> it just fell off the hanger you know do you know what i mean though kind of go straight across uh, the chest on the shoulders kind of thing oh my it's not a good day is it uh, next up we've got minions yes we have despicable me minions this is a kid's dressing gown so cute look at this so it is for seven to eight years and uh, as you can see, it's bright blue and yellow. Got them cute little minions. And it is a hooded dressing gown as well, which I love a hooded dressing gown. I don't think my dressing gown's got a hood. I want one with a hood because I get cold. My head gets cold. So uh, I like being snuggly in a dressing gown, but I wish mine had a hood. Anyway, anyway, right, what have we got here? We've got a dress. Get the old, get the old hanger out here to hang that up for you. Okay, this is a size 20 dress from Marks and Spencer's Pauna. And it's that kind of, um, is it viscose material? So nice and stretchy and flattering. Really like this dress. It's a bit long for me, otherwise I might have kept it. But um, it is really smart. It's really nice. Okay, got some shoes and trainers to show you. Um, first of all, these are from Dorothy Perkins, size 7. And they're these lovely tan shoes with i like the buckles on the front that's pretty cool isn't it um a little bit dirty underneath but not not too bad quite good condition as you can see there on there as are these trainers which uh i've actually bought for myself but unfortunately they just don't feel comfortable on me like they do and they don't they feel comfortable for about two minutes and then as i start walking in them a bit i'm like ow uh, that's just me i'm a bit weird and fussy when it comes to my shoes and trainers and boots and stuff um, but yeah these are a size five as you can see white and pink and they've got this really awesome like platform styly look give you a bit of height which i definitely need at uh, four foot eleven <laughs> but yeah they are nice like <laughs> i'm really upset they don't like fit me properly but anyway pink laces as well what more do you want so they they are on there the platform pink and white trainer Okay, this is a size 22 sweater jumper from Sainsbury's and it's that yellow. It's kind of, I think it's yellow, but you could call it mustard, I suppose. Let's just call it both, yellow mustard. Um, yeah, it's from Sainsbury's and uh, isn't it great that it's that time of year that we can put all our snug, cosy sweaters on? I love this time of year. I know everyone else loves summer more, probably, but I, I love this time of year. I love getting all nice and warm and cosy and snug. You wait till I get me onesie on. Then it's good times. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really uh, nice colouring, actually. And I like the kind of knotted design or whatever you call that. There is a name for that, isn't there? But um, anyway, I'm blabbering. That is on there. 
Okay, this is from Primark, size 12. I would say 12, 14. Um, I love this. If this would have been my size, I would without a doubt have kept it. But unfortunately, it's too small because I'm a fatty bum bum and I like eating cake and cheese. <laughs> but I love it. So wear it and think of me if you do end up buying it. Um, as you can see, pink and black. But what a gorgeous colour in there is. Pink and black go so nice together. Loving that kind of funky design as well. There's the back of it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm very sad that it's not my size. Maybe it's yours. Okay, so I haven't hung it on the hanger very well. If it looks a bit. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, New Look Curves uh, size 22 t-shirt, like one of those long t-shirts. It's a bit longer at the back than it is the front. Uh, mustard colour and uh, yeah, I haven't hung it up very well. There you go, it's a bit better. <laughs> Okay, we've got another kid's dressing gown. Uh, this is for age 18 to 24 months. Disney, green and blue stripes. And as you can see, there's Jake. Now, I literally have forgotten the name of the show that he was on. I did it on, like, when I put my list in on, I'd looked it up. But I can't remember right now, sorry. But if you've got kids, you probably know it is. But it's Jake the Pirate. That's what I call him. Um, he's got his little sword there. I think there's a skull and crossbones somewhere on the pocket. There we go. Um, but, yeah. If you know the name of him, let me know because it's going to bug me. <laughs> but there's Jake and he's uh, at the hood as well. Once again, the hooded dressing gown is back. Keep the head warm. Okay, now I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to be a good sale for me. I hope I uh, make a bit of cash on this. This is the Mr. Men collection. There are 20 books in this uh, box set of Mr. Men uh, books inside here. Look, inside here, there are 20 books. Um, I've sellotaped the front down, but I can open it up just to show you. Look at these. Really, really good condition. Um, I got them in a charity shop, I think, for like, I don't know, 150 or something. So I'm hoping that there's a bit of profit made on this. Um, but look, look at all these books. Underneath, obviously, all the other books. But when I was a kid, I used to love Mr. Men. <laughs> like seriously and what was it little miss as well obviously um but yeah these are on there if you you know you're your family anyone wants them grab them there's 20 books i keep saying it but that's a lot of books in one set so you know go get a bargain right now this is a show that i never watched on television i don't know why but i didn't lilo and stitch is it I don't even know who this guy is. Is he Lilo or is he Stitch? I know a lot of my viewers are watching now. I've been like, Laura, come on, Laura. You must you must know. Come on, come on. I don't know. I'm sorry. I think this was more like 90s, wasn't it? When I'd, I'd gotten a bit older, um, so I wasn't really watching it. I don't know. Anyway, this is really cute. Whatever, whoever he is, whatever it is, it's lovely. It's a hot water bottle cover as you can see it's brand new with the tags from Primark um there is one thing I will say though because I'm honest always honest um it has no hot water bottle in it so uh yeah obviously if you're buying it for the bottle there's no hot water bottle in there look I'm not lying there's none in there however all it takes is one of those small little hot water bottles so you might have one at home anyway or you know just go on buy like a cheap little one um but this is brand new with tags and uh, it's really super cute. So, yeah, he wants a new home. Please buy me <laughs> or I will cry. <laughs> okay, so next up, size 24 shirt, blouse. I still never know what to call them. Uh, from Rainbow. This is Black Cats. Meow. Look at all these cats. Um, what is it they say? A crazy cat lady? <laughs> um, or crazy cat man come on we've got to be you know level here this is so cool i love this i used to have one like this myself um but yeah this is pretty cool you've got all the cats everywhere now you could also wear this i reckon for halloween because think black cats magic witches yeah you getting me you getting me so this could be a halloween outfit or you could just wear it anytime you want because you like cats <laughs> meow okay now the box is a little bit ruined but it is brand new sealed and in the box this is a rumble robot apparently um he's called lobjaw and he's got custom fitted rumble armor apparently um it's a bit like that show they used to do you remember um was it robot wars was it craig charles who did that oh, um i think so but anyway so yeah this is, says it's built up for the um the battle 
and oh he's ready to go so these as i say are quite collectible quite rare so i was very lucky to find this um so if this is your type of thing you know or maybe if you your kid or whatever um check it out because they are quite rare and uh yeah hopefully someone will give him a home and he can be a robot and do his robot thing okay next up i've got this uh i'll put this on ebay for like 50p is i mean sometimes i'm nice and do that i do things really really cheap um this is 50p it's literally only been used once by me and even then it wasn't actually used cut a long story short i used this tattoo um kids tattoo designing thing in a asmr video on my other channel i did a role play where i was playing um the worst tattooist in your area gives you a tattoo it, it, it sounds odd but it was it was funny <laughs> I think it was funny. Uh, but anyway, so if you want to get this, basically you get this kind of like little tattoo gun thing. It's not real, obviously. Do not fear. Your kid's not going to be tacked up. Um, you just get little stencils, pens that fit into the machine and stuff like that. So I've put it on for 50p because obviously it's opened, but it's not been used as such. And also, as I say, it's kind of famous because, you know, it's been in a Minx Laura 1, free ASMR video. Uh, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to that channel, please subscribe be great if you did links are one two three uh, smile links down below i do videos on there to uh to help people relax and sleep and uh some people when they watch my videos get tingle tingle tingles anyway back to this channel <laughs> this is a uh girl's flamingo is it flamingo is that how you say it flamingo no not flamingo that's a bird flamingo Hold on, I'm going to ask Nathan in a minute, sorry. Is it Flamenco? Flamenco. Flamenco. <laughs> Thank you. I still can't say it properly, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's like Spanish, isn't it, I think? Um, lovely black and red dress, very frilly and got all the tassels and stuff here. Um, what age is, is it for? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, it's age four. This is for a little four-year-old. How cute. Okay, next up is this dungaree dress. It's like a khaki colour. Um, I actually got this for myself, but it looked weird on me. It did fit, like it wasn't too tight, but it's sorry, I had a bit of wind there. My my stomach was going like gurgling. Uh, if you saw, if you heard that, even sorry. <laughs> what? Anyway, I got this for myself, but it didn't look right, so I'm selling it. Is long story cut short um and this is khaki color you've got some pockets here and there and you know po big pocket here um it just didn't look right on me i think it's because i'm short things just sometimes look a bit silly on me um yeah feel sorry for me everyone it's not easy being four foot eleven you know trousers are too long and you know dresses look funny get the violins out um anyway this top is um from ziva i don't know who ziva are but they made this top it's a size uh large xl i'd say but 16 18 really lovely like electric blue coloring uh with a bit of leopard print i love a bit of leopard print and also these kind of nice uh i don't know, I don't know what you'd say like little chain things i don't know it's pretty cool though okay okay so um there's been a few things in this video that i'm selling that i'm actually devastated about including the victoria shaw book uh, and also this uh this is uh my queen of spades playing cards uh sweatshirt um i just don't want to get rid of it but i have to get rid of it because it just doesn't fit me it's way too tight it's it's all right at the top half but then it gets to the bottom and it just feels like un you know when something's uncomfortable tight around the belly i'm like it's pointless yeah i could keep it in case i lost a bit of weight but I, you know i just need the money at the end of the day so i'm selling it it's so cool though look at it it's got the big playing card on the front and it's also got the spades uh on the sleeves as well here so size wise it's supposed to have been an 18 uh if i'm being honest it's more of a 16 uh 16 18 you know um <laughs> i hope it goes to a good home let's put it that way okay it's halloween soon have i said that I've said it quite a lot, haven't I? Sorry. But it is Halloween soon, so more Halloween stuff here. This is a skeleton fancy dress costume uh, from somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, from George. There we go. This is for an 11-year-old. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know if it glows in the dark. I'm not sure. It might do. Um, but even though it doesn't, it's pretty damn cool for Halloween. Spooky skeletons. And look at this top here. This, I mean, if this, you know, was literally made for autumn... 
this is so autumnish to me. Uh, as you can see, it's that kind of mustardy colour, which is always nice in the autumn. Um, but look at the design. I want it to focus. There we go. It's got like leaves on it and stuff like that. It's just so like perfect for autumn. And it's this sheer material. Uh, size wise, it is. Hold on, let me have a look. Right, it's an 18. It's a size 18 from Daxon, the Daxon catalogue. So, uh, I just, yeah, this is lovely for autumn. Now, there is a little leaflet that goes with this. And I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in the bag. I know I've got it because I just saw it a little while ago. But this is uh, a little Hot Wheels quad that I'm selling. Uh, these are quite rare and collectible. But as I say, I have got the leaflet that goes with it. I just need to find it. Um, so if you're into your Hot Wheels, this could be for you. And it's one of those where you pull it back and it goes forward. Obviously, it's not going to because it's on a furry rug, but... Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's definitely not going to go forward then. Oh, anyway, that's that. <laughs> okay, uh, what have we got here? I don't know. What are you going to be? I have I have the mystery just as much as you. I, I get all this stuff and I can't remember half of it. Oh, this is a t-shirt for men or women. Who cares? You can wear what you want, I think. From Numskull. Um, it's Dark, so Dark Souls 3 game. I'm, I'm not a gamer, I've no idea, but I know it is a game, um, apparently it's a very popular game as well, and this is a men's t-shirt in size extra large officially, but as I say, doesn't matter what gender you are, you can wear what you want, um, he's quite a scary fella, isn't he, I wouldn't want to see him on a dark night, hello mate, hello mate, <laughs> but if you like the game Dark Souls, this could be you. This could be yours, or maybe as a gift for someone for Christmas. Halloween, Hocus Pocus. This is a size 18, 20 t-shirt. Uh, well, actually, it's not a t-shirt because it's got long sleeves, but it's kind of got that t-shirt look, but it's not. It's a sweatshirt because it's got... Anyway, it's a top with long sleeves, all right? It's the easier way of saying it. Um, as you can see, the witch is there. The lovely bit middle in the middle. She's my favourite, always was. Um, so, yeah, I, this was mine, but I, I wore it the other day. And I just, I don't know, I thought it looked a bit short on me. I prefer my tops a bit longer. So as much as it did fit, it felt comfortable. It was just a bit short. I kept pulling it down. So I thought, like, I'm going to sell it. I know there's loads of people out there that will want this and enjoy wearing it for Halloween. Or maybe all year round, if you're into Hocus Pocus and witches and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's on there. Okay, these are brand new. And Nathan's going to laugh in the other room because I can't say this properly. These... A, a, like a card game thing they are collectible and they're going for quite a bit on ebay hopefully mine will as well um unpleasant dreams and it's uh, i think it's sathulu sathulu gloom <laughs> i can't say it properly cthulhu 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 anyway that's it they're brand new completely sealed um and then we've got this one here look is a little piggy do you remember the piggin pigs so this is a special uh, collector's edition and it's the piggin 2003 tour and it's got on his top it says 10 years he's got his little basket there um on his t-shirt at the back it says uh, hip hip hooray so um yeah he's on there and also i'm selling these dc comic top trumps as well i know a lot of you like your your dc and marvel and stuff so um hey why don't you play a game of top trumps is, uh, it's all good fun. So, yeah, who have we got here? See so if I can name these these people. Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. Supergirl, is that? Or su Is it Superwoman? Or su no, it's Supergirl, isn't it? Uh, Batman. Who's that? Is that the Flash, maybe, in red? Catwoman? Or Batgirl? Is there a Batgirl? I don't know. <laughs> and Superman, obviously. So anyway, so Top Trumps, DC, comics. Play with them. Um... Right, this is a nice jumper, um, and it is a size 22, can't really see that, but yeah, size 22 from uh, Sainsbury's, and it's inside out because I tried it on. <laughs> I was tempted to keep it, but instead of it being too tight on me, like some of the stuff I try, it was too big on me, it looked very silly on me, it was too baggy on me, um, so, yeah, I'll just hold it down here. There we go. So, yeah, this is size 22 from Sainsbury's. Leopard print, and uh, it's really soft. Really, really soft and fluffy. Uh, loving that kind of colouring of the brown and, like, creamy colour as well. That is on there. Um, this is... What is this? This is a dress, I think. I can't remember. 
Hold on. Yep, this is a dress size 16 from Principles. And then we've got another dress here, which is like a, a whiny colour, like a dark red whiny colour uh, and kind of cream underneath. Lace, like design. And this, I think, is also, where's this from? Hold on, where's the label? Oh no, this isn't from Principles. This is from Next and it is a size 14. Look at this. Really lovely. I love that kind of style, that lacy, lacy design. You've got the lace at the at the top here as well. So that's a size 14. Have we got anything else? Okay, so in this bag, I'm going to end this video really shortly because I don't want it to go on too long. I know it's already gone on too long. I'm really sorry. Oh, there's the leaflet from the from the top. Uh, what, are the, what are they called? The Hot Wheels. I knew I had it somewhere. Yeah, I'm not going to like get all these out. These are stuff that has been relisted. So I'll just show you really quickly. Uh, before I go, if you want to become a channel member, that'd be great. Please do. Press that join button now for as little as a pound or a dollar a month. You can become a member of the 123 family. So press the join button button right now for more information anyway so i'm going to show you these really quickly uh, obviously on my ebay you'll see like a proper you know detailed information and photograph etc um, but these are stuff that have relisted from like a few times got this size 18 top here uh, with birds all over it i won't let my mum near this top because she's got a terrible phobia of birds <laughs> hold on is it upside down i don't know but anyway you can kind of see the design there like purple and blue and red so it's got like an elasticated uh waist as well uh, then this top here is from pep and co little blue top that's a size uh 20 or 18 18 20 uh da, 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 da. what does it say oh size 20 purple jacket this is from new look size 18 really shocked that this one hasn't gone i really am because people love the color purple right it's Halloween soon. You can wear it and dress up in a bit of purple. I don't know. <laughs> trying to sell it. Uh, wear it for Halloween. This is a uh, principal's dress, size 18. Also purple, as you can see. Nice lacy colouring. Maybe you could wear that with the jacket. There you go. I'm designing your, your outfits. Uh, this is a top, I think, from... Where are you from? You're from Oasis. And this is a size 16, as you can see there. And guess what it's got? A floral print. Have a drink. <laughs> um, oh, this didn't sell either. He's been on there weeks. Come on. There must be someone who wants him. Come on. Brand new with the tag still on. This is from M&Co Co Living. And it's a, a coat hanger in the shape of a dog. I don't know what breed of dog, but he's been on there weeks. He's not selling there must be a dog lover out there who wants to give this fella a home. Come on, put your coat on this dog. He doesn't mind. He's there to help. Um, well, I think I've got two more things left. This bag has been on there a while, not selling. It's got all, um, what they called? Not grasshoppers. Oh, what are they called? Dragonflies. <laughs> Dragonflies on. It's a big bag. You could get loads of stuff in there. And also this dress here, which is a size 16 from Principles. So there we go. Oh my days, look at all this stuff. <laughs> There's just so much on it. Now, before I go, um, I will say click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the bell and all that jazz. However, there's something else um, I want to show you. Oh, I forgot this. I'm so sorry. There's something I forgot to show you. This is on for sale as well. The air hockey set. Look, brand new in the packaging inside because I've checked. Uh, tabletop air hockey. This is on the eBay. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to show you... Is stuff in this bag now really quickly because I'm not going to go into detail with these I'm just going to uh, show you really really briefly but I'm doing this new series uh, on the channel and it's called bargain or bust and uh, it's going to have its own jingle bargain or bust bargain or bust ba, 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 bargain or bust yeah anyway um, basically it's going to be <laughs> something I do once a month where I, I get £10 to spend in, in charity shops and stuff and I can either get like two things for a fiver or lots of little things that add up to a tenner. And then I put it on eBay and see what happens. Will they sell? Will they not? I don't know. Um, and that's the idea. The next part of it, of the video. So the first part of the video will be me showing you what I'm, you know, selling for £10, what I've got. And then the next part of the video will be like an update of what it sold for. Did I you know, get a bargain? Did it sell for more than I bought it for? Or, you know, was I stuck with it? 
or didn't it sell at all? That kind of thing. Or did it sell for less, you know? Um, so, yeah, Bargain or Bust, look out for it. It's going to be an eBay-themed once-a-month video. Um, it's quite fun. So I'm not going to go into all this stuff. I'm just going to quickly show you. If you want to learn more about the stuff I'm selling uh, on Bargain or Bust, then obviously watch the video. But these are on there as well at the moment. So uh, you've got the flower pressing kit. You've got this book from uh, whole collected works of F. Scott Fitzgerald, who wrote... Does anyone know? The Great Gatsby. There we go. I knew that, actually. I did know that, believe it or not. Then we've got this fella here who's a hat. It's a novel hat from the regular show who uh, <laughs> is quite funny. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it might sell well. We'll see, obviously, on Bargain or Bust. Bargain or Bust. Um, then we've got this Hello Kitty little princess dress and a man's um, like car key jacket. But anyway... If you want to see them in more detail watch the video and of course to see if they did sell for more or less or didn't sell at all um so yeah look out for that be a part of bargain or bust it's fun um right i'm gonna tidy all this lot up look at all this oh my days i'm gonna be all night putting this back and in bags and anyway thank you for watching take care of yourselves i'm gonna wave in the mirror Yee. <laughs> see you later everyone bye